Hello and welcome to Craft with Sarah. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make handmade cards using twisted tunnel toppers. I've linked to the printable teacup designer in the description of this video, or head over to craftyprint.com to choose from hundreds of different designs. Print your twisted tunnel topper onto glossy photo paper, matte photo paper, or cardstock. If you buy a twisted tunnel topper from craftsyprint.com, which is what I've done for this one with this lovely teacup design by Carol Clark, you can pay a little bit extra and Craftsyprint will print it for you and then post it right to your door. I love this because it means you're going to get high quality prints on great paper every time. So that is what I have chosen for this one. So once you've got your design printed, make sure the inks will dry if you've only just printed it out and then you need to cut everything out. As well as cutting the outside of all of these squares, on the ones where they've got a white square in the middle, you need to cut the white squares out as well. The easiest way to do that is with a craft knife and a metal ruler and be sure to put a craft mat like this down to protect your surface. Using a craft knife means that you get nice straight edges as you go along the ruler and it also is a lot easier to cut out the middle of the things with a craft knife than scissors. Okay, so I have been a little bit cheeky and jumped ahead. Here is the initial square and I've stuck it onto two pattern bits of paper and then stuck all of them onto a six by six inch scalloped edge card. The papers I've used are from this um, paper pack from Love to Craft, it's called My Cup of Tea and I love this paper pack, I had to buy it when I saw it. It's full of pastel colours, polka dots and stripes, but you've also got, look, a teacup that's really cute, if I put it around the right way that would probably help. And this biscuit one, which is what I've used on the card, I just love, I mean I love biscuits so that was always going to be a winner. Uh, more teapots, I've got this pretty roses which is what I've used to go around the edge of the design here and just so many cute designs which are perfect for greetings cards. So this is a fab little paper kit, it's 6 by 6 inches and I love it for card making. Alright so back over to here. If you wanted to you can assemble your twisted tunnel topper before putting it on your card. I prefer to stick it to the card first as I find it easier before you've got all those layers, but it's completely up to you. All right, so let's bring in the layers. I've got these three squares here. And if you look on the original sheet, they are numbered layer one, layer two, and layer three. Now, if you've watched my other video on how to make inverted pyramids, also called tunnel toppers, when we made that one, we started with the one with the smallest hole first and then worked our way up to the biggest hole. With twisted tunnel toppers, it works the opposite way around. So the first layer we stick on will be the one with the smallest hole and then we'll get bigger as we start building up the topper. So we're starting with layer one, then we're doing layer two, and then layer three. Okay, so our layer one is this one, and it's the one with the square cut out that is in line with the rest of the, um, the topper. So you can see it here. I'm gonna turn it upside down and then we need to add something 3D on the back so that we're going to get a nice raised effect on our card. You can either use 3D foam pads and if your pads are like mine and they are massive then just take a pair of scissors and cut them down to make them smaller so you can just cut straight through them to make smaller foam pads. Or alternatively, you can use the 3D foam that comes on a roll. Alright, so here is our layer one. I'm going to start taking my foam pads and sticking them on. I like to put one in each corner to start with, as that's a great way to make sure those corners aren't going to start peeling away once you stick it on the card. 
You could leave it like this, just with four bits of foam pad, but you might find that the sides start sagging in under the weight of the layers on top. We don't want that to happen because that will hamper the final effect of the card. So to stop that, just put another bit of foam on each of the sides as well and it will stop that sag. And just one more. Alrighty, I'm going to peel the backings off of the foam pads. And do do do. This always takes longer to do when you're on video. <laughs> right, that's all of them. And turn it over and line it up against the design that's already on the card. Now the first layer is nice and easy because it is straight. So all we're doing is sticking this straight on top of the um, the teacup that's already there. There we go. Right on to layer two, and that is if you if you get if you're not sure which one it is, just refer back to the original. So if you don't have it printed again, look at it on your computer screen or your phone or however it is you use it, and then match up your layers. So this one is going to go on next, and turn it over. I've already put the foam pads on just to speed things up. So I'm just going to peel these backings off. There we go, turn it over, make sure it's the right way up. And again, it is just going to go straight on top of what's already there. So this is now creating a spiral effect with the layer that we put on first. It kind of looks like iris folding, um, which is actually my favourite craft. So iris folding, you're folding strips of paper to create a spiral, and on these twisted tunnel toppers, you're kind of cheating and doing the same effect, just with cut out squares, um, which looks really cool. I really like it. So I've got my final layer here. I'm just going to peel off these foam pads. I've put two bits on each of the corners, again to stop the sag and to make sure it's nice and sturdy on my card. And then stick that one on. There we go, let's just move all those bits. There it is, our twisted tunnel topper all made on our card. Wasn't that easy? And it's so cute how we've got this spiral effect of the different layers. You can see at the side you've got all this 3D and it just pops out of the card. It looks fab and um, only you will know how quick and easy it actually was to make. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up using the icon underneath and for more card making tutorials subscribe to my YouTube channel. I release new videos every week, at least three times a week, so you'll never be stuck for card making inspiration. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.